with um, are going to perhaps the, co the cost of the economy is very real from um, people unable to work, from productivity loss, um, but we certainly don't really understand the full extent of that yet, and we don't uh, we certainly don't understand what this is going to cost the health system. So that's really one of the reasons why actually better data is crucial for us to get a handle on this properly. All right. Well, Professor Martin Henshaw, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. The festive season's first box of cherries have gone under the hammer for a whopping $60,000. It's all part of Sydney Market's annual cherry auction that has raised more than $1 million for Aussie charities. This year, proceeds will go to Sydney's Children's Hospital. It's also a welcoming start to the cherry season for farmers after extreme weather, of course, hit their crops. And for more, we're joined by Robert Lowe, who was the highest bidder and cherry grower Fiona Hall, uh, very good morning to you both. Morning. Uh, Robert, uh, you've been heralded as this year's Cherry <laughs> King, and I understand it comes with a cape and a crown. How are you, how are you, how is this settling, settling in with you now, this new title? Look, um, it's always in my heart to help the people who need it the most, especially children. Um, I'm, I'm so proud part of it. Yeah, because it's all for charity, isn't it? It's all for charity. Yeah, yeah okay, terrific. Uh, Fiona, I was reading during the week um, a huge concern that the cost of cherries is going to more than double leading up to Christmas. Is that because of all of the, the terrible weather we've been having? Yeah, it's all about supply and demand at the moment. The weather has impacted all those earlier varieties in the earlier regions, so not many cherries around it's going to mean that you know we have to pay more for for the cherries but you know as as you know the season goes on you know cherries will be better value and and cherries are for the entire summer not just christmas that everyone seems to think they're just for so they're not quite sixty thousand dollars for a box no, that's nice. this very special box that uh, that robert's got about how much will they be look i think probably that 18 to 20 dollars a kilo which the farmers are going to need given the crop losses that we've already experienced you know just to cover some costs that you know the farmers aren't going to make a fortune out of even at that yeah. so you expect that 19 to 20 dollars Killer, I'd say. Yeah. Fiona, talk us through the, 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 the nuance of the taste in a cherry because it's mm. been compared almost to sampling wine. Yeah. Well, look, different varieties have got different characteristics, and um, if you really, uh, if you know your cherries, then you will. It's all about the crunch and the sweetness, and and on a challenging cold year, it's hard to get that sweetness. So we're really looking for some warm weather to get that sweetness that everyone loves. So you're from the central west of New South mm -hmm. Wales, where a lot of these floods are. How is your cherry farm? It's challenging just to get your tractors into the paddocks to do all your fertilising and everything that the cherries need to get them up. Um, so it's wet, very wet, uh, particularly a little bit west of us, but uh, yeah, it's 